And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast, man. Today, we got a very important episode. It's an yes. emergency meeting. We're going to clear our boys, man. Let's get into it. Let's go. What's up, guys? Welcome uh, to the Fresh Trade Podcast, man. We are live on every platform right now. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and, and Rumble. Rumble, of course. Uh, real quick announcements before we get into the show. Rumble.com slash Fresh Fit. Guys, we're going to be doing a very big migration here very soon as far as Rumble goes. Um, y'all already know this content is censored. <laughs> They've age-restricted a bunch of our videos. They've taken down a bunch of our videos, especially videos that concern Andrew. So we're going to be re-uploading all those videos on Rumble. And we're going to have to probably start taking some of the content off of YouTube and putting it on Rumble as well to it's avoid getting is, future man. strikes, man. And that's kind of yeah. – it's unfortunate, bro, but that's just how it is. I don't know what's going on, but, like, YouTube kind of ha- seems to have a stiffy for us and, and Andrew. So – um, because I don't see them taking tape videos down anywhere else. They only take ours down. So it is what it is. Yeah. Um, also, guys, check us out. I think it's probably because we come up with the facts and defend our bros. So that's – it is what it is, man. Um, we're, we're not going to stop. Uh, check us out also, guys, on freshfit.locals.com, all the behind-the-scenes stuff. And then also, while you're at it, do me a favor. Rumble.com slash Tate Speech, okay? Yeah. Go subscribe to their channel. They just hit $1 million over there, man. So when they get out uh, of jail, they can come to a happy surprise of them hitting the 1M on um, Rumble. On Rumble, man. So big, down the mark for them. They, they gained more followers uh, while in jail than some of you fucking bums out of jail, man. <laughs> Making fun of them as well. Yeah. Logan Paul out here losing followers while they're gaining followers in jail. So mm-hmm. that's the L for y'all, man. Uh, also, guys, check us out on Megaphone. Um, you guys get all the uh, audio versions of the content um, as we wait for y'all to come in. We got about 5,000 y'all watching plus on all the platforms. Um, so just make sure to like the video, share this video with a friend. Uh, also, get the merch, guys, fresh at podcaststore.com. Get all the hoodies and T-shirts. And then uh, also subscribe to our other YouTube channels called Fresh and Fit Clips, guys. As you guys know, we post six clips on there per day and four shorts, 10 videos per day. So just do us a favor and go over there and subscribe. Help us get another golden plaque because, uh, yeah, we yeah, got to flex on the haters. So, yeah, we got to flex on the haters. And 80% of the people that watch that channel are not, are not sub, man. So just do me a solid and go, go subscribe to the channel, man. Just hit that red button. And, and guys, then, the vlog channel is still up. By the way, tomorrow we go to Dubai. It's going to be a crazy adventure. You're going to want to see what happens between us. You know, Andrew's people, Justin, Sneeko, it's going to be lit. So, guys, tune into the channel because we're going to vlog everything we do back and forth, behind the scenes. Check it out. And what we can't put on YouTube, we're going to put on local. So, go check it out, guys. 200 can away. Let's go. Uh, and then, also, guys, check me out at 18.11. As you guys know, I put that promo cases on there. Um, the last one I did was, man, I've done so many. I recorded some more FedEx last night, actually, guys. I was up till like eight, nine in the morning um, because, as you guys know, we're going to be in Dubai. We're going to be there for about five, six days. Yeah. So I was just having content ready for y'all to drop for Sunday. But tomorrow I dropped uh, Dahlia DePolito, and then I had done Jody Arias, the past. The, yeah, sorry, guys. I, yeah, the, the girl that killed her boyfriend out there in Arizona. So go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Check it out. Um, and uh, Mo, did you have anything? Um, and so, sorry, guys, for the delay, because Chris isn't here, so Mo had to run behind the scenes, so that's kind of why we, you know, are starting a bit behind. But go ahead, Mo, what's up? Working on an audio book for oh, Why yeah. Women Deserve Less. Um, doing a lot, working on it. I promise going to have the best quality possible, so we got you. Why Women Deserve Less, get the um, Amazon book on Amazon. So W book. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause I, um, I, cause you guys have been asking me about, don't worry guys, a hardcover is going to come out and I'm going to sign a couple of them. And then also you guys have been asking about the audible, no worries. I voiced it myself. So Mo right now is actually editing it. We'll probably have it out within the next, I would say one to two weeks. Um, Mo's working on it overtime. So don't worry. The audible version of the book is coming guys. But if you want, it's out right now in print, 
and Kendall, why women deserve less. And especially these two bimbos that we're about to discuss, they definitely deserve less, but they deserve more jail time. We're going to go into that here in a second. Yep. So, uh, all right, cool. So for all of this to make sense, guys, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go through a timeline. Um, cool. Should we hit some of these chats real quick? Yeah, we Mo? good. All right. Knock these out. Yeah. And Mo, I can hear something in the back, by the way. All right, I think that's. Yeah, okay. We'll go ahead and uh, pull up the chat real fast. On my phone. Okay. Okay. So we got here. Okay. Um, and thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it, man. Yep. Um, let's see here. Baba Free God. Top G, get a, get a real estate license in NY and make 10K per month. Okay. All right. Who came in today? Big congrats to Myron and Fresh Fit Podcast. All right. Leprechaun. Rob Slob on Bob's Cobb. David. Okay, pause. Uh, Free the Tates. Haters trying to keep them down, but they'll never prevail. My book came in today. It's a great read so far. W. Myron. Yeah, guys, do me a favor. Go on Amazon and leave it a five-star review. I've already, I'm already starting to get attacked by some feminist matrix people, so uh, go on Amazon and just quick leave a quick five-star review for me so that we can continue to win. We're a bestseller right now, guys, so thank you so much for the support the one order two copies of the book get your copy now fellas a free to tate special shout out to rod eric amazing mentor that learns the best girls okay vision. uh alvaro goes l chris yeah that is l chris he ain't he didn't show up to work which again <laughs> the matrix wants you broke and in a box sometimes literally freedom fun money if you're striking back okay absolutely yep. um i sh i know any all right can you get that the grammar is really better mantra roster okay. says Anyone should get the first interview of the Tates. It's you guys for holding them down. Screw Vice for turning off their comments. Free to Tates. There you go. Kevin X says, Free to Tates. Shout out to you. Drew Duran says, Myron, I just got back from getting my hair transplant procedure, procedure today. Hopefully, mine looks clean as like yours in a few months. LOL. Time to level up. Shout out to you as well, uh, Drew. IRS. I'm not going to lie to you, Myron. Your book is actually well written and is a very good read. 84 pages, pure facts. Tell you what. I'm going to do for you. I'll knock off a few hundred of what you owe me. Go ahead and celebrate. That's the IRS, uh, Myron. Okay. Gunna says, yo, Myron, have you read the reviews yet? They're triggered. Oh, I'm sure they are. Bro, imagine a book saying women deserve less. Of course they're going to be triggered, bro. I mean, no doubt. Oh, he saw the IRS one. They said, uh, they'll, they'll knock off some money for you because uh, you can celebrate. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Daniel Carmen says, so many chicks on my Facebook timeline posted pics in their red dresses. Myron wins again. FNF with the hotness dropping facts. P.S. The book just came in the mail today. Can't wait to read it. Shout out to you. Uh, Paginator says, What Chris does <laughs> Oh my God, bro, this is messed up. What Chris deserves less. Book coming up late. <laughs> oh God. Thaddeus Brown Walker says, Late for an emergency. Buying that Chris is a bum shirt just for this. LOL. Uh, we don't know why he need to come. Uh, Jeff says, Got my copy of The White White Women Deserve Less today and started reading. Shout out to you. Monarchs One says, I got the book Why Women Deserve Less. You haven't got the shirt though. Um, uh, church, yeah, we're waiting on ours too, guys. Yeah. I don't know, spring is is, is it's, late. it's a company, not us. Yeah, it's we're yeah. still waiting too. The distributor is on, is on some slow Myron's, time. Myron's white son says, Hi, dad. Uh, okay, <laughs> Roberto Moreno says, Love you guys. Get Tia on your show to break records. Buy Myron's damn book already. FNF for life. Yep, appreciate it, man. And a 50 aka Ferrari F50 says, I think you guys are going to be surprised on how many people follow you over to Rumble. People really religiously watch you guys. Free top G's. Yep, appreciate it, man. And Mohamed Wali says, any chance for a meetup in Dubai? Based in Saudi right now, where my book is not available, but we'll come to Dubai next week. Mm. Uh, possibly. Well, we'll check now because uh, my book wasn't in the Middle East for like a day or so, but now now it's out. Uh, you can order it in the UAE. So nice. Uh, check now. Um, Israel says, stop the like button. Uh, Dirty Dollar says, shout out to F uh, FNF, Fed it, freshman CEO, white women deserve less. And finally, the Tate brothers, Dom DeMarco. Okay. Zanelda. Uh, hi, Myron from Laredo. Thank you. Um, and then we got W Book reading it completely uh, this weekend. Uh, Wyron Resh, B W Big Mo, Chris is a bum. All right. <laughs> Should have had Chris do an audio book for disabled people. Hey, <laughs> Thanks, Jason Jack. Get, uh, get me a book with you when you come to, to the UAE. UAE. Okay. Uh, women deserve less, more like Chris deserves less. And that's Liam. from Liam Mikian. Uh, free the bros, Polska Gorag. Thanks for the book. Okay, got you. Jizz. The and then book should be called Why Fresh or Fit Always Late. The Jimbo, from and, the James Jimbo and James Show. Hey, man, it is what it is. Uh, Tate is the reason I started going to the gym daily. I've lost 25 pounds of too much just from watching you and being a better husband. Okay, Curtis good to you, Curtis. Good job. Uh, bought two copies of Myron's book one copy for me, one for my simp brother. Pray for him, guys. Hey, bro. Kirko. Kirko, you can do all you can do, man. You can bring the horse he to the water. He has to want to help. He ain't going to want to. You can't force him to drink. Yeah. Affluent community. 
uh, two bucks. And then we got Colossal Mind BTS. I own a travel company and would like to help out the squad. Hit me back on Insta. Cool. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Um, but we're not we're not uh, we're not traveling. It's really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, well, we're going well, to tomorrow, Dubai, but, but, it's uh, but outside it. of that, yeah, yeah, it's already covered. Um, and then, guys, from this point forward, we're gonna read. Uh, how many people w- watching live right now, Mo? We got so, like eight. Like eight. Okay, guys. So from this point forward, we're gonna go fifty and up so that we keep the show nice and concise. I'll read these because they, they came in before. Yeah. Uh, book came in today. Can't wait to read. Viva. Uh, La Revolution Brothers, yeah, absolutely, bro. The, the, yo, this book really, guys, is gonna change your life and teach you to like stop simping and stuff. It's gonna let you know what you're really up against in the sexual marketplace. Uh, Michael Rojas, get Chris uh, on the fresh and fit diet. Okay, uh, can you check the version by Sparta Books? It's apparently a scam with empty pages. Oh, here's what? the notebook, guys. Oh, so there's two yeah, versions. Yeah, guys. One yeah. is actually the book by Myron. Yeah. And one is a notebook, guys. Yeah. Which I, mean, I actually use. It's hilarious. It's, yeah. it's a notebook that yeah. you use to like write your notes down, which so is what it, I do. This actually looks kind of like the rational mail. So, and then you got this one over here that has like the money and stuff like that. So it's not a scam, guys. A, yeah. So it's not a scam. Just, yeah, that's the real rational mail right there. Yeah. Which you guys should go pick that up as well yeah. from our boy Rolo Tomasi. Um, but yeah, it's it's if you search why women deserve less, my book is going to come up at the top and it's going to say bestseller. Now we we beat the algo, guys. So that's a Don DeMarco. Okay. The Don other DeMarco, books are all DeMarco. blank pages. Like they're they're it's a notebook. It's a troll notebook, like you guys see when I use it on the show. When interviewing for Chris replacement, please do verbal tests. Okay, thanks. And nah, then JP nah, Williams. Chris, these guys are Chris fucking here to stay, man. Yeah. Uh look up Nika Nick Boone, woman in Texas who stabbed her date and barely got any news coverage. Imagine if this was the other way around, waiting for audible version of uh, why women deserve less. Shout out to Fresh to Fit, free top G's. I appreciate that, man. Wow. Okay. So uh so guys, today's from this topic, point forward, we're gonna um fifty and up, yeah, 50 and, up um, and we're gonna get into today's topic because uh, we got a decent amount to cover, some updates and everything else. But for this to all make sense, I kind of have to bring you guys back down memory lane. This is crazy though, bro. Like they deserve less, less for real, man. So, um, one of the accusers, right? The accuser, especially that um, accused Andrew of grape. All right, he met her at a strip club in London. Okay, uh, in in London, England, and what ended up happening was he brought her back to Romania. Okay, and she had been there for for several weeks. Okay, somewhere between I don't know the exact time span of when he brought her back, but it's somewhere between one to two months. She had been in Romania hanging out, right? And this girl is Moldovan. Okay, she's Moldovan, but she lives in England and dances in England, right? And this girl wanted to get like a social media career. She wanted to, uh, you know, be a TikTok star. All right, which you guys are going to see here in a little bit why they, uh, they, they, her attempts to try to become a TikTok star, right? The other girl, right, that is accusing the Tate brothers is a American chick from Miami, actually, okay? Um, ridiculous, making us look bad. But these two girls found themselves at the house at the same time, all right? Now, I don't know when this Miami chick got to Romania, but we know it was somewhere shortly before all of this stuff happened. Yeah. All right, and then the other girl, Right, that claims that she was trafficked, the Moldovan British chick, she was there for several weeks, okay, living at the house. And they all could freely leave whenever they wanted to. Yes. So yes. let that be known. Matter of fact, some info for y'all. That girl, the Moldovan, went on jogs every day with the dogs, went to the grocery went store. shopping. Went shopping. Yep. Okay, taking Ubers back and forth. She definitely had the ability to leave at any point that she wanted. Ah, so she wasn't being held against her will? Not at all. Who said that? Matter of fact, like, Andrew didn't give her that much attention. <laughs> Free. And I think that's a part of the reason why she's angry. Free time. She even said it. Her, someone uh, someone interviewed her, if I'm not mistaken. She did an interview somewhere saying, oh, well, you know, I did everything of my own free will and everything else like that. But their argument is they were in love. Okay? So, so she basically was trying to say, oh, well, I was in love and uh, I was being coerced or whatever. And now she's retroactively withdrawing consent. And guys, this is a big deal. Think about this. So you're telling me that a girl can feel different after the fact, say, I did what I did because I was in love. And now you could be charged for it? That's what's essentially going on right now. Clown world. Okay? Now, when that first broke out, I was already fuming. I was like, this is fucking BS, right? Mm -hmm. But now, we got some other information that just came out, right? At this morning, from a close source, from a yeah, very reputable source, right? We got it first, actually. We beat everybody, but I didn't want to put it out there until I saw everyone else get it, right? Yeah. Um, 
that's just the beginning. What you what you guys saw with those text messages, there's there's way more to that. And I'm, I'm, that's why I'm explaining this right now. Context, yeah. Right? So you guys understand. So we got the Moldovan chick there. She had been there for weeks, walking dogs, going to grocery stores, hanging out at the house, coming and going as she pleases, using Ubers, etc. And as you guys know, there's a mall not too far from the Tate Brothers' houses, right? Yeah. House. Uh, we went there several times, actually. Many times. Right? Good food. Yeah. Um, and the girls were free. They're go going back and forth shopping, doing all this stuff. If y'all don't believe me, I'll show y'all a video right now. And actually, you know what the funny Pull it up, Mo. You know what's the funny part? Their camera footage was show goes going in and out. Like the camera footage from before was show everything. The one of the Uber, Mo. Yeah. The one, the, the one that you had right, right before. And it's easy. You go call an Uber up to their house and then you leave. Yeah. And the camera footage was show exactly what happened. But yep. once again, it's being held by who? Romanian police. Yep. Also, I want to say that people say that like, oh, uh, well, they have armed security. Yeah, the armed security is to make sure no one comes in, but they never stop you from leaving, At right? All. So if anything, their house is very uh, secure. Secure, right? So th this is the these these are the girls, right? You can see here, okay? They're in, in Romania in 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 an Uber, chilling. Okay, they, they don't look like trafficking victims to me. Okay. Ooh. Wait, is there a chain around her neck or anything holding her hands? Like, know, what's bro. going on, bro? I don't know. But the 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 girl that accused Andrew is on the left there. All right. So um can you can you go go back? And this is all open source, by the way. People went ahead and took a time machine and uh went back and went to back and, and to the Instagrams that got this stuff. Another good fact. If you're so innocent, why is your Instagram not, not private? What are you worried about? They privated them now. Yeah. Yeah, because they were getting a lot of backlash. Bruh. Okay, so now that we understand that, okay, so you had the Moldovan chick there, and then this Miami chick shows up later on, right? Yep. They end up becoming friends, guys. And what you're about to see now are some TikTok videos that they shot on or about April 9th, okay? Let's show these cl uh, clips, Mo. TikTok videos? Yep. They're being held captive, bro. There you go. See, the, the two accusers are on the outsides, okay? The girl on the right is the one that, the one of the trafficking victims, and the one on the left is one of the other alleged trafficking victims, right? So... For some of you guys that don't know, this is Andrew Tate's house, okay? Yeah. So tell me how you're being held against your will, being trafficked, and you guys are shooting TikTok videos. <laughs> Explain that to me. We could clear, see them clear as day, one on the left, one on the right, all right? Now, mind you, here's some other info that y'all probably don't know. <laughs> on this night, Andrew and Tristan were not at the house. Mm. They were... Doing some extracurricular curricular activities. Womanizing, <laughs> to be exact. With some other girls, all right? <laughs> so they weren't there this night. Yeah. So those girls could have left that night, but they didn't. Wait, so you're telling me they had every moment to walk away, take it anywhere, and they didn't? They just stayed there? They just stayed there, bro. So they weren't making... Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was told they'd be held captive. Those look, look, look like they're free. Most of the part. Yeah, it looks so like it's crazy, bro. So I think we got another TikTok clip here that Damn. we're going to show y'all of them dancing. Okay, <sighs> here they are at the house. This is the kitchen area. Yeah. This, All right. This is the main area here. Yeah. There's there, there's the two alleged uh, girls, right? Dancing, having a good time. Doesn't look like they're being held against their will to me. All girls in there, by the way. There were like 30 girls. Can you imagine, at this, right? At this party. If these girls are being held captive, what about the other girls? They just said, "Oh, help these girls! Help! I got, a, I, I escaped." Yep. How about the other girls? Yep. Why did no one say that? Because mm -hmm. it's all cap. Yep. Now this is sad, bro. Let's play the next video, and this is all on a honor about April 9th, guys. Okay, here dude, they are doing another dance. Dude, they can't even twerk. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what are they doing, bro? Okay. And here they come. All right. So again, the two girls on the ends are the ones that are like making the accusations, not the girl in the middle. The two on the ends, right? So you're telling me. That these girls are being held against their will, yet they're walking around, shoot TikTok videos, dance, and have a good time. And I think I sent you another video, Mo, as well. Might be in the takeover. Um, yeah, there's the accuser. Look, look, dancing with some music and stuff. I had to. I didn't put the music on, guys, because it's yeah, uh, it's Romanian copyright. music and it's copyrighted. That's not the one of the girls. It's the one on the left over there. All right. So you're telling me that you're being held against your will, mind you. This chick, this bimbo right here, okay? Stupid. She had been at the house. So for somewhere between one to two months, walking the dogs, going on jogs every single day, going to the grocery store, going shopping, taking Ubers back and forth, okay? You're telling me that you were graped by Andrew back in March? You Allegedly? Say, you didn't say anything? Allegedly, the grape happened sometime around March 20th, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Stop the show. <laughs> so you're telling me <laughs> you got graped at the end of March, yet yeah, here you are. Dancing to Romanian music Still. with a bunch of chicks on TikTok in your captor's house? Wow. You must love that. What the fuck is going on? Grape.
Seriously. Guys, it's clown world. Clown world. To me, it looks like she's having a great time. She's chilling, bro. Big chilling. Right? Big chilling, bro. And she can't even twerk, which is the funny part. One more time, for because we got 11,000 plus y'all in here, 12,000. Share this video with everyone. Okay, guys? These are the accusers. Go back, Mo. Go back. We're going to go from the beginning. I really want everyone to burn this shit into their brains. These are the girls that made the accusations, the two chicks on the left. Okay? They're in Andrew Tate's house. I could personally verify that because I know the, the house. Yeah. I've been there myself. Okay? Yep. They're over here shooting TikTok videos. All right? This is on April 9th. They had a party. Andrew and Tristan were not at the house on this night. And to be fair, you can't even see me in any of the videos. Yes. They're not there. They were not there. I 100% verified this. They were not there, which is why you don't see them in any of these videos. Mm. Okay? Now continue to the next one. Here they are dancing again. The two accusers. Having a grand old time. Okay? All girls there. The Tate brothers are not there. Again, next next video. <sighs> Showing more TikTok videos, right? Thank God we have these clips. But you know what's scary? This could all be avoided. The camera footage shows in their house at this exact time what's happening. Yep. If they're yeah. being held captive, bro, hey, look at my camera footage. Yep. Oh, they're free, good to go. Yep. Let, let them go. Mm -hmm. What's happening here? Oh, no, fuck the footage. We're not taking that yeah. in, into account. Andrew and Tristan have a very sophisticated 24-7 yeah. surveillance footage, guys. Everything is in like camera in the house. every room, bro. Yeah. So... You know, and, and it, yeah. Okay, next one now. So next one here, you guys can see, right? There she is right there, right? Now, after the raid, which was on or about April 11th, okay? About two days later, okay? The girls went to France. <laughs> okay? Hold on, they went to France? They went to France! No, 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 no. You said they were captive, bro. Yes, they went to France after. They can't leave though, bro. They, had to, uh, they somehow left. What <laughs> after the raid? All right. Wow. So they go to France, and guys, they didn't go to Paris or the vineyards or vineyards or any of that. They went to the French Riviera, one of the most expensive places to be in the world. Wow. Okay. So how did you get all this money all of a sudden? First, you're being held against your will and you can't leave. Now, all of a sudden, you're in a place where you got to spend damn near $10,000 a day to live. As far as I know, if you're broke, you can't do that. Not to mention, they were there for weeks. All right? Let's go ahead and roll the roll the uh, evidence. Bro, I know that ain't cheap, bro. I know that ain't cheap. Yo. Oh. Oh, look at uh, Morgan Tolo Country Club. I can't, right? I can't pronounce that. I can't pronounce that shit. I can't pronounce that shit, bro. What is bro. going on? It's so expensive, though. You're like, what? What? Okay. Let's continue. Wow. What the fuck? Here they are, living it up, right? With the with some food on the beach. Okay. Next. Yeah, she got no motion. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. There's a picture of her on the beach again. Oh Lord. Let's keep going. All right. That's the one of the chicks that made the accusation. They're chilling out there in France. Look at that. With a nice little overlook. Yo, okay. Once and again. this is all our social media public information. None of this is doxing. Y'all niggas right? know. Girls don't travel alone like this. So nope. somebody, somebody paying for it, bro. Yep. We don't know who it is. And right after for it. the raid, this was right after, guys, in mid-April. Okay, let's go. Let's continue on. Oh, they living their okay, best. Okay, here they are in Paris. Living their best life, bro. All right. Don't look sad to me. Here, Cote de a place I can't even pronounce. Cote de Azor. Cote de Azor. Bless me. <laughs> okay. Let, let's, the next one. And here on the beach and again, me. right? Wow. And then, look, she's in a Bentley. Oh, no, this is a Porsche. Oh, a Porsche, sorry. A Porsche. She had a Porsche. The next one's a Bentley, my bad. Wow, <laughs> yeah. She, she had a Porsche. And Bentley. now she, she had a Bentley with a Rolly. Hold oh, on. That's the iced out two-tone AP with a diamond bracelet and a ring. Who that belong to, bro? Where'd this money come from? That is too big for her hand. That's, go, that's go. some niggas. Watch, bro. Dumb, dumb, go, go. What, like, what is going on? How are Andrew and Tristan still in jail? How? So they we left... haven't even got to the crazy stuff yet. Oh, so they left the big G. Yep. To go to another G. Yeah. Who the fuck is this nigga? We yeah. don't know. But they lied about Andrew. Yeah. The whole time. And this is so. Let, hold on, hold on. Let's play. Yeah. Let, let's get this straight. So you guys were trafficked, held against your will in Romania. Instead of going to hang out with your family. Or spending time with loved ones, y'all take a trip with your trafficking, you know, co-victim. Y'all go to France and hang out 
at the Riviera dropping thousands of dollars a day to hang out, driving in Porsches and Bentleys with iced out Rolexes? What? What? Who's paying for this? What the Who's fuck? paying for this? Why are you taking a vacation after being a victim? Like, <laughs> yo! You're a victim. What is going on? And here's the worst part, right? This is all happening. They're still free doing whatever they want to do. And interest are still in jail, suffering. They have not been in Romania, guys, since they left. I wonder why. The Romanian authorities can't even contact these bimbos for a statement right now. Oh, they're traveling the world. Someone else is dying. Yep. Bro, you know what? Did someone happen? pay them to make these accusations? Possibly. Conspiracy time. Let me make this very clear for you. You guys don't know this, but I'm going to go ahead and bring this out to life Tell for y'all, okay? Tell them, Iron. Because we talked with Andrew about this personally. Guys, there were people that were offering women in Andrew and Tristan's lives that used to date them exes, etc., 50 to a hundred, sorry, between 30 to a hundred thousand dollars at different ranges to make false accusations against them. Yep. Let me repeat that for you real quick. There were people that offered ex-girlfriends and associates of Andrew and Tristan 30 to $100,000 US, okay? to make false accusations against them, okay? So I would not be surprised if these two bimbos didn't get something p- given to them to make these accusations and flee Romania. I have another theory. Let's say, right, they're being held captive. They can't leave, but they're on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, having a ball twerking, well, trying to twerk. And they're bored. You know what? Andrew isn't giving me what I want. I want attention. I want money. I want time. You know what? I'm going to find somebody else to, to, to give it to me. So they go on Instagram, look, look at their DMs. Oh, this guy's willing to fly me out here, fly me out there. You know what? Fuck Andrew. I'm going to personally make sure he, he has to pay hell and go somewhere else. Mind you, the Bondovan had been there for weeks, guys. Yeah. Shooting content. They knew she was there with Andrew. They knew mm. it. She had been there for a very long time. Bro. Yo. um, Dude. Yeah. See, the more you bring up the facts here, the more it's like, wow. They're being held for no reason, bro. This is all cap. You guys, do me a favor. Come on over to uh, YouTube right now because we're going to – there's still yeah. more. There's still more, but I'm going to kill the Twitch stream and uh, – Facebook. And, uh, yeah, because I already know they're about to start crying. Yeah, we're going to kill <sighs> the Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter stream, guys. Come on over to YouTube right now and Rumble. Um, wow. Yeah, because it, there, there's more. And this is why I had to go ahead and illustrate it. While we, we, while we went for more to kill that, let me go ahead and give you all the quick little recap, all right? Because we got, uh, I think, 13,000 people in here right now. Right? So – if you just joined the broadcast, thank you so much. Like the video, share this with a friend. Here's a summary. Basically, you got two accusers of that said that um, the two main accusers, right? Yeah. That said that Andrew trafficked them and, 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 and Andrew them. and Tristan were trafficking them. The Moldovan went ahead and made an allegation against Andrew for grape. Okay, the two people, one chick from England, stripper Moldovan. Okay, mm. London to be exact. That's where Andrew met her and brought her back to Romania. Other girl, American citizen, out of here in Miami. All right. So, Andrew. Brought what's her name back, the Moldovan chick, right from London. I don't know exactly how long she's been there, but I know somewhere between one to two months. Yeah. She jogged every day. She had a, she went out with the dogs, shopping, grocery st- sh- shopping every day, etc. Because Andrew and them don't don't grocery shop, guys. That's yeah. another point too. Yeah. Let y'all know they have a people that just got like kind of ordering food, but this chick I think wanted to prepare her own stuff. So, um, and she was coming and going as she pleases for weeks. Andrew obviously didn't give her that much attention because he's out and about doing shit, right? Traveling, whatever it may be, right? Yeah. So, um, so fast forward to April. American girl is there. Now Moldovan girl is there. On or about April night, they had a party. Andrew and Tristan, I know verified, were not there. The two girls were there, and they had a party for some other chick there at the house, which is where that footage comes from. They shot a bunch of TikTok videos, etc. They claimed that they were trafficked on or about that night, okay, which you guys saw a video to show the contrary. All right? Immediately post making the accusation, they go to France – and they're hanging out at the Riviera. Very expensive, posh place to be. We're talking ten dollars to $20,000 a day to spend and be able to hang out in the area. With APs. Drinking champagne. Exotic cars. On the beaches. I mean, hell, let's pull up some of these pictures one more time for y'all so you guys can see the craziness. Bro, that watch, the AP, I know she didn't buy that for herself. Here she is in a Bentley, right? With that watch. Dude, Go back. Uh, dude, the watch is so loose on her hand. Mm-hmm. It belongs to a guy, bro. Yeah. That's not her watch. And then here she is in a Porsche. Keep going. Then that's them on the beaches. Right, 
hanging out in places that I can't even pronounce in Cote France. Okay. Is this behavior of someone that had just been trafficked in Romania to be in France immediately after? They look free to me. They look pretty free to me. They look pretty chill to me. All right. Now, uh, let's continue on, Mo, uh, back forward. So now you guys get the idea of what's going on. You guys got the quick Wait, little recap. Food right? on the beach? Yep. Oh, brother. Nigga, I don't even brother. get there. Food on the beach. Brother, I got to buy my food and bring it to the beach. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here, man? Uh, so, Mo, let's let's keep going through the pictures back to the other way. All right? So y'all can see they're having a grand old time having a – and they were in the French – France, guys, for weeks, if bro, not months. Bro, I know keep money going, keep in, in, in certain places are, is, is definitely keep different. Going. But that don't look cheap at all, bro. That looks expensive as hell for lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, bro. Yep. That, that shit is not cheap. Yep. To keep going like this, uh, you know. Okay, so happy Women's Day. Uh, what day is Women's Day again? Someone in the chat, I'll put it. Um, so that March, we have a timeline here. March? March something. Okay. <laughs> keep going. I thought it was like in April. But that let's was, keep going. That was the last picture. Okay, that was the last picture. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up these text messages. Okay? Uh, well... <sighs> <clears throat> Because what you guys are about to see is a WhatsApp conversation uh, between the two accusers. I just can't believe that people actually fell for this story. And we know the facts from the very beginning. But now they're seeing the receipts and the timeline between what they were saying, what they were doing. And like, I just hope someone in the Romanian government says, you know what? Damn, this is bullshit set on free. Because, bro, we can spread news as much as possible. But without any action, what are we really doing? Common sense is no longer common, bro. All right, let's pull that up. So, okay, guys. Here we go. I got my glasses here. Here we go. Um, yeah, so need... this right here, guys, is a text thread conversation between the two accusers, okay? On WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. And you guys can see it's clearly dated here. So it starts April 10th, 2022 at 4.30 p.m. approximately. This is Aliona. Aliona, guys, is the Moldovan girl that accused Andrew of grape. All right? And she goes... You are a good actress. Uh, and then it goes, true. True. I practiced. And Bear is the other girl. Yeah. Okay. Bear. The girl, Bear is the chick from Miami. All right. The Asian looking chick. Aliona goes, perfecto, question mark. Just play it cool. Got it. Bear responds. Aliona goes, like, like you, you don't, don't know. Anything. Anything. And then Aliona goes, play dumb. Bear goes, I'm going to pull some tears. Out. Out. And then Aliona go, responds with question marks. And then Bear says, and play dumb. And then Bear goes, good advice. Thank you, babe. Wow. Okay. And you guys can see it shows the whole timeline of the conversation. So this isn't out of context. Y'all are getting the messages right there. So the day before the raid, okay, um, uh, April. And remember, guys, there's different time zones, et cetera, here. So this is all hazy. That's why I'm saying honor about these days, yeah. right? Yeah. Because what might happen, it be happening to here in one area, it might be April 10th or 11th, another place it might be April 11th, right? Right. Because so it goes here. We are so good though, and that's from Aliona, and she goes, "We need a fucking Oscar." What is an Oscar? Let a trophy. Yes. You get for acting. Yes. Let's go. And that's Bear says that, and then Aliona says, "Let just play. It. Let's just go play it cool and change my name, so it will not start with a a." With an A. And then Bear goes, LOL, got it. So That's a weird way to request. Aliona says they might be making like documents or some stuff uh, to get out. I got you. And um, yeah, I told you, uh, I, I, I told you to be like saying a nice message and that we are hurt or shit like that, that we do love them, but just don't like the situation. Wow. Yo, okay. Monko, As a ex-federal agent, isn't there evidence to say, you know what? They're freaking lying. I think that's pretty. This is what you would call exculpatory evidence. This yeah. is evidence that proves, right? This is evidence that actually works in the defendant's favor. And this is outrageous. And we're not even done yet. Hold on. There's, but wait. There's more. There's more. There's more. All right. <laughs> Aliona goes, so they will not think we are really against them, you know? Bear goes, yeah, that smart. Aliona says, play the victim. I mean, we are like, but yeah, act like we still love them and stuff. Bear ha. goes, ha ha. <laughs> mean we are? Wait. And then Bear goes, what, what? After the first, uh, oh, she goes, what, what? Then after the first raid, on or about the 12th of April, Bear goes, tomorrow we should wear makeup and sunglasses so nobody really notices what we look like or who we are. 
Yeah, I guess, from Aliona. And then she goes, LOL, we are writing a movie ASAP. And Aliona, and that's, uh, Bear says that. And then Aliona says, yep. I can, Guys, yeah. It, it, I, I'm just going to say this right now. This is disgusting, man. This is probably one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. These two women, and, and, and there's more, don't worry, are literally plotting against the Tate brothers for a come up. And they're saying, they're admitting that they're going to lie, that they love them and they did these things because they love them, which is indicative of her interview that she gave a couple of days ago to some, I forget what broadcast company she gave an interview to. I think it was uh, Vice or somebody. Right. Saying, oh, well, I, I consented to everything, but I loved him and I felt coerced, blah, 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 blah. You guys are seeing it right here and 1080 fucking P that they plotted. OK, and conspired. Now, at this point, this is, they conspired. Premeditated. Yep. Murder, basically. To, to go ahead and lie on these men and tarnish their reputations. And then they fled to France and went on a vacation after. And they had a, all of a sudden they have a bunch of money. In a very wealthy area an access, that we can't explain. And access to like cars, lifestyle. Yeah, something you want to say? I was, I was going to say like, right now, bro, like this is scary because this guy with any guy. And of course, Andrew Tristan are big. They're huge, you know, in the whole scheme of things. But like the average guy out here, right? Imagine if you're somebody that had some, maybe some status, maybe a little bit of money yourself. And you worked hard for that stuff, right? You meet a, a woman and she says, you know what? I'm not going to get what I want from you. I'm going to take it by force. And you guys are probably yes. wondering what yeah. the motive is with, with this Moldovan girl. And I'll tell you guys here in a second. Don't worry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no. I'm just saying, like, for example, let's say she said to you, you know what? I want 20K a month. You're making money. You could afford it. You're like, no. I work for this money myself. You, you need to deserve it. Or at least, you know what? Be a fucking lady. That being said, you know what? He doesn't want to give me, give me what I want. I'm going to take it by force. And she could lie, make up a whole story like you see here in the chat and fuck you up. It's crazy, bro. Yep. So it's just sad, man. So let's pull out the second part of the conversation. <sighs> it's really sad, bro. All right. Um, now it goes here. Now this is uh, Emma Gabby, right? This is the girl from Miami. Okay. But that goes AKA Bear. She's talking to her family. So Bear goes, look, uh, I know you don't believe I can handle this, but I can't. I'm not uh, so concerned. Tristan doesn't really care if I leave because we made the brothers believe we are in love. Think we will they think we will run back. So hold on, stop the show. So you're telling me that you're being trafficked, but now you're saying on one end that they don't care if you leave? It sounds like you're free to me. Which one is it? <laughs> Which one is it? Are you being trafficked or are you not? If you're being trafficked, that means Tristan would really care that you stayed. <laughs> but according to the video footage that we just played, you dumbasses dancing, shooting TikTok videos together, etc. they weren't even there. And we know personally from being there, Tristan and Andrew don't care if they leave or come. No. They really don't care. They don't give a shit. They're busy themselves. So this is actually funny because they really don't give a shit. She's admitting on text that they didn't care. So which one is it, bro? Wow. All right. Next. Bear goes, my main concerns are coming from things some girls are saying. Okay. And then Bear goes, a lot to explain. We will be out of here fine. Bear goes, I don't think they care that much if we leave anyway. This is why I feel okay. Once again, confirming that the Tate brothers don't give a crap if they leave. All right. I, Bear goes, I will make the call uh, and do the right thing um, in the situation. And this is all dated. This is, guys, this is six days before. Uh, sorry, excuse me. This is uh, three days before the party. Okay. Right now, we both want to be in London. And then. Uh, so this girl's talking to her family. Apparently. Yeah. I think this might be her mom. Yeah. Um. And then is, I think they sent a screenshot or something. And then they sent a voice message. And then Mona goes, go to London, but why have all the American embassy on alert? You are causing major upheaval because the Marines and all American squad is on the go now. Fuck it, Emma. Fuck it. And then <laughs> and then she goes, uh, you called? I didn't. I want to leave my London. Uh, I Mom, want to leave to London. You called, you called that you? And then uh, it goes here. Tuesday when we leave. Yep, and that's yeah. That was on April. So they had been plotting this, guys, for a while. For a minute, okay, Dude. since the sixth. But three days later, they're at the house still partying. Then they can see everything. Bear says, "Look, if you stop me from going to London, expect me to disappear." Bear says again, "I want to go to London." Um, and he says, "How dare you put me in danger like that?" Says Bear. Bear says, "You called." 
Beer said, not me. Mona says, go to hell, Emma. The, your ignorance and it, your arrogance and ignorance and bullshit go to up Wapland or Bangkok or Bora Bora. Who is tape stopping, stopping you? you? The whole American embassy is on alert. Shame on you. <laughs> Bear says that's your fault. Thanks. So we so it might be that they contacted the embassy earlier. Seems like they might have done it on or about the sixth. But we had a hunch. Did the party on the ninth. Yeah. So so that makes it even worse. Yeah. So it looks like they already had contacted the embassy on the sixth, on or about. The ninth, we know, is the party, and then the raid happened on or about the eleventh or twelfth. And we had a hunch that embassy was involved because once again, guys, you know the whole media against Andrews out there. So that with some evidence, they can't wait to pass out that story to put it on. So I mean, bro, this was perfect setup. Wow. Yeah, that's wild. Yo, this is this is crazy stuff, guys. Um, <laughs> let's hit the chats real fast, man. This this is incredible. And I, I want you guys to take this as a lesson because th- this is the scary part. The Tates are almost billionaires and this happened to them. Imagine you. Imagine you. As the average guy. Imagine a regular guy. If if Andrew and Tristan didn't have like the social media presence they have and the money and the resources to fight this, like they might be fucked. Andrew started, he wanted to start a fund for guys that are falsely accused, right? Yeah. And he's right because most guys that this goes to, yeah. happens to them, they can't do anything. You can't. And as a, as a matter of fact, if this is you, Bro, you're screwed. You can't escape it. Yeah. How are you gonna fight it? Man. Uh <sighs> all right. Well, you got him? Okay. None were. None okay. Were cool. So um <clears throat> damn. So we're gonna go to Dubai tomorrow. Yeah. Bring on some more stuff behind the scenes, but obviously TS people, you know, some other yeah, girls as well. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk to some and of the other victims. It's as apparent well. because, like, right now, guys, there's an agenda, once again, as you as you guys know, against the Tates. However, I feel if we push hard enough with this evidence and these, uh, you know, recent uh, text messages, we got to get some some pull here. Hopefully we can, but who knows? Yeah. Um, it's up in the air. Th- this is why you guys got to be careful when you deal with these girls. Oh, now you guys are probably wondering about the motive. My bad. <laughs> the motive with, with, uh, with the Moldovan girl. So this is what it was, guys. Basically, she wanted 200,000 euro from Andrew. Okay. She wanted him to help her promote her TikTok career because she wanted to be an influencer, as you guys can see from the terrible dancing. Okay. And uh, Andrew said no, <laughs> right? Rightfully so. He said no. And he didn't give her all the attention that she wanted. So this is a big reason why she decided, you know what? I'm going to go to the police. Take it by force. You know what I mean? Because she's like, if I know if I make an accusation against these guys, I can maybe get a Netflix deal, get a Hulu deal. Vice will interview me. Um I'll get some I'll get some fame. I'll get my money somehow out of this. And that's what ended up happening. She literally is mad that he didn't give her 200,000 euro and promote her TikTok career because she wanted to stop being a stripper in London. Ta-da! There you go. Incredible, bro. Incredible. This is scary though, bro. I mean, how do you even fight this? You can't. Yeah, yeah, and thing is, he's in Romania right now. Yeah. So I would say if this was going down in the U.S., you know, due process, it would at, least. Been at least due process. Like there wouldn't have been none of this pre- preventative detention BS that's going on right now, mm. because as you guys know, they haven't even really been formally charged yet. They're just detaining them because them being released from prison could cause damage to the investigation that the Romanians are trying to conduct right now. Like they're actively doing the case right now as we speak, trying to gather evidence to ra- to justify keeping them in in jail longer. But um, with this new evidence that we have now, right? Could the lawyer currently get this evidence and get them out or no? It's still I would hope so. Up in the air. I would hope so. I mean, this is a smoking gun. Yeah. That there was a that, that there was at least some kind of semblance of a plot to get them jammed up. I mean, hell, even to the point where they're saying, oh, yeah, we got to pretend that we love them, blah, blah, blah. So in my take, everything they say, because remember, guys, we know that they had done interviews with psychologists, apparently some psychologists, which we don't know what their credentials are, mm-hmm. saying that they had been. Uh, held against their will and trafficked, right, and graped. Well, now we got to question the validity of those interviews yeah. because you can see here prior that there's some kind of semblance of a of a conspiracy to make some kind of false allegation and get them jammed up. This could have all been avoided. And then on top of that, the fact that they went over to France and had a bunch of unaccounted for money in a very expensive area, did someone pay them off? Possibly. Did they plan this? Like uh, with uh, through someone else to go ahead and make a make a, a hit piece on on the Tates, right? Uh, honey trap them because, um, like I told y'all before, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary. I know for a fact Andrew and Tristan told us to our 
in person. Mm -hmm. There were forces out there trying to pay women to make false accusations. Hell, you guys want to know the truth? Back in 2021, we're going through all this BS. I got information that people were trying to do that to me. Yeah. And we're small. Once you, and we're not even as big as them. Compared to them, yeah. Guys, once you reach a certain level, okay, there will be people that are very self-interested in your failure and your demise. And the quickest way to take someone down is a false grape allegation. Yeah. Okay? So I've been in this situation as well. Not to this degree, of course. But girls have tried to lie on me as well. This is a game when you become famous, unfortunately. Mm. Because we live in a clown world where it's believe all women. But you guys can see right here, don't believe these hoes. This is why women deserve less. <laughs> Real talk, bro. I'm not even saying this on some asshole type shit, but it's like so many girls do fuck shit like this. Once again, though, this could have all been avoided looking at the cameras. So I know for a matter of fact, whoever's in charge of that Romanian setup with the, the judge, you know, the evidence, whatever, doesn't want that to be shown because if they would show it, they're going to be innocent. So I don't know what's happening there, bro, but these girls are fucking liars, bro. But that's what I know. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, man. So, like I said before, and the thing that pisses me off is that people keep coming out with stuff saying negative things about Andrew and Tristan and they can't defend themselves. So, we're going to make sure that anything new that comes up, guys, yeah, we stand by them. We'll stand by them. We're going to keep giving you, keeping you guys uh, updated. You know what I mean? Uh, but this, this was the latest news that we got that was actually accurate and true. So, yeah. And we um, wanted to make sure that we give you guys the whole perspective so you guys know from beginning to end how we even got here between these two accusers, them going to France on vacation, and then these this ridiculous text message uh, conversation between the two. So, I mean, what you guys could take away from this is, number one, protect yourselves. Keep documentation on everything. Record everything. Record everything. Yeah. And, you know, let's let's try to get our boys home, man. I know they got a hearing on February 27th. Yeah. Um, We wrote some character letters for them. I hope uh, it gets... Uh, red in court and that we get we get them out man because this is this is really starting to become uh a violation of human rights at this point because we have clear cut evidence that they that they there's a good likelihood that these men are innocent we know they're innocent yeah but let's say to the courts that you know think oh they're probably guilty like we have some pretty strong evidence now that they're innocent even for these people that don't like the tates yep yo what happens to innocent until proven guilty but they're on a fishing expedition right now to keep them in jail so that they can continue to gather evidence. And their uh, uh, um, excuse is that, oh, well, if we release the Tates, they're a flight risk. They have a lot of money. They can negatively influence the victims, etc. Influence which victims? These two bimbos that clearly conspired to lie? And they're free. And then on top of that, there's two other victims, okay? Allegedly, right? But they're not victims. They came out and said, yo, we're not victims. What are y'all talking about, Dicot, who is an agency investigating this case? We're not victims. But Dicot insists on saying that they're victims. We're going to go interview those two women in Dubai and give you guys the fucking real story. Down the scenes. Because the mainstream media has been doing everything in their power to not let their story get out. I wonder, All right? I wonder why. Yep. All these ass clowns at Vice, you know, Fox and all this other stuff, none of them are reporting this stuff. Fake news. But we're the real news today. You know? None I, of them. I just think personally, man, like at this point, once this is all said and done, I hope everyone that hated on Andrew and Tristan that said, yes, they're in jail, made fun of them, you know, laughed at their, at their misery, get a big F you because you know what? I know we know they're innocent. Most people, most of you guys know they're innocent as well, but we need to get this out there so people know as well. Yeah, guys. Um, so the mainstream media is not reporting this. Honestly, we're like one of the biggest platforms that are reporting this stuff. So we need you guys to share this with everybody. Yeah, share every, everywhere. Okay. Guys. Because um, I don't know anyone that's like, systematically going through the evidence, breaking it down with you guys, explaining the timeline of events, and giving it to you guys from a reputable source. I yeah. think we're the only ones, honestly. And we will continue. To, I don't care if we're the only ones or we're the last ones. We're going to stay with these guys until they fall, man. I mean, we're, and if we got to fall with them, it is what it is. Yep. We're going to stay with these guys. and Because here's the thing you guys got to understand. Whether you like Andrew or Tristan, right, or not, an injustice for one man is an injustice for, for all. all. Yeah. Very we'll true. talk. This Very isn't true. about, uh, I hate the Tate brothers and what color is your Bugatti. It's not about that. Right. It's not about uh, clout or none of that stuff. It's about if this can happen to them, it can certainly happen to you. Only a matter of time. And if it happens to you, you're not going to have fresh and fit to back you up. You're not going to have the money of a legal team and Mike Tyson's ex lawyer to back you up. You're going to be in it by yourself. So you need to take preemptive measures to protect yourself from fucking dumb assholes like this that, quite frankly, deserve less. OK, <laughs> God damn.
<laughs> the only thing they deserve more of is jail time. This is a fucking injustice to humanity that they could even get away with this, and they haven't been put in jail yet. And guys, don't be surprised. We could be next. You never know. It could be anybody. We're just saying, look, right now what we can do is spread the word, put it out there, and at least have it in their faces. So you know what? What are you saying now? This Here's the truth. If you want to believe light, that's on you. So, Guys, share this video. Yeah. Blast this out everywhere, okay? Because we know mainstream media ain't going to do it. Blast this out everywhere. And let's get our guys home on the 27th. Yeah. All right, guys. That's uh, all we can do, guys. That's that's today's episode. And yeah, uh, Destiny, Apple, and Peach, as well as Vice, plus many others look ridiculous right now. Chat and others are more than welcome to compile a list of other fools. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, yeah, yeah bro. I mean, what do y'all? I told y'all before, bro. People like Apple and Peach will say anything for AdSense revenue. Fuck them. Yeah, Vice is just scummy, bro. Yeah, Vice are scumbags. They're the worst network I know out here right now. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're spreading they're blight, the news. You know what I mean? Apple and Peach do anything for AdSense. Destiny is just straight up wrong in this situation. You know what I mean? I don't have an issue with the guy, but he's just wrong. You don't here. know what he's saying. You don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. I told you guys before. Like YouTube is a dirty game. People say and do anything for content, content. and they'll say and do anything for money. Right. If they could knock you down while elevating themselves, they will. Right. And get some money out of it, get some views or whatever. They'll do it. Guys, we had another show scheduled. Right. I'm, I'm doing this right because I look at it like, yo, we need to broadcast this out to people. Yeah. And people reach out to me. Yo, I got this stuff. Can you put it out? Yes, I will. I will never say no to anything that exonerates our guys. All right. If we got to put our, some of our stuff on the back burner. It's fine to give you all the news of what the hell is going on. We will do it R regardless of whether it gets views or not, because we want you all to get it, share it. Put it out there. That's what it's about. And I hope if it was us, you guys would do the same thing pretty Take much. Take as many clips from this podcast to put it out. I don't care about the money. I don't care about that. I don't care about nothing. Yeah. Go ahead. Steal as much of this as you want and put it out there. I just care about it getting spread. Okay? Matter of fact, the only reason we make sure that the video stays monetized is so that it could get pushed push in the algorithm. algorithm. Yeah. Guys, the way YouTube works is if it's not monetized, they don't push it. All right? So that's why we do that. So, but steal as many clips, share it everywhere, put on Twitter, put on, I don't care, Twitter, Getter, Rumble, uh, Facebook, Twitch, everywhere. Spread this. TikTok. This is a the TikTok. Yeah, everywhere. Because this is an injustice against men in general that this is going on. And the fact that they're still in prison since December 29th. Yeah, it's wild. To now. New Year's, bro. That's wild, bro. For what? Nothing more than accusation of lies, as you guys can see here. Clown world, guys. Clown world. Free the tape, brothers. I mean, if they if they're not released on the twenty seventh, like what what the fuck, man? Like I said before, we're gonna do an interview with the other two uh, victims, alleged victims, because they're not victims at all. Yeah. That that Dicot lied about. You guys will get the story there. But we're gonna keep exposing it for y'all, man. We're gonna we're gonna fight back against the Matrix and give you guys the truth about what the fuck is really going on, because this is bullshit. And if it can happen to them, it can happen to anybody. Imagine your friend being attacked, wrongly accused, and you stand there and do nothing. All we can do is spread the news, bro. That's all we could do. Yeah. So, guys, share this. Clip yeah. this up as much as you want. Steal all the content. I don't give a fuck. Just put it out there. I, I don't care. Share it. Put it. This needs to go everywhere. This needs to get blasted everywhere. Yeah. The, the, the message is women need to face consequences for lying on innocent men, especially when they're doing it for nefarious reasons like this, like self promotion, income, status, et cetera. She's mad that Andrew didn't give her $200,000. So she said, you know what? Let me go ahead and ruin their lives and lie about this, all this stuff. stuff. He welcomed that bitch into his house and let her stay there. She was giving her, having a grand old time. And then all of a sudden, oh, I'm not getting 200K euro. Okay, let's plot this out. It looks like, to me, it looks like Ali, Aliona, the fucking Moldovan bitch, was the, uh, the main, the the main, main person. Culprit, yeah. I hope that when this is all said and done and it takes a release, they leave Romania right away, bro. Yeah, that's crazy, dog. And that chick needs to get arrested. Yeah, she should. That chick needs to go to prison, bro. But but, but hold on, will she? Yeah, I don't know, man. But uh, John says I support you guys fully, but I do not recommend you doing this. It's fine if you want to help the Tates, but you shouldn't put your plan of attack out there for the world to see. It don't matter. We're gonna put. It's gonna come out anyway, bro. Yeah. So it is what it is, man. Like I said before, we gotta we gotta give a voice to. Uh, to the people that don't, because they're they're trying to really knock these guys down. So, uh, but I appreciate the support. I appreciate your concern. Yeah. Um, but all right, guys, we'll catch you guys uh, later on on after hours. But we just want to give you guys that uh, broadcast, give you guys details of what the hell's going on. Uh, I'll put the timestamps here very soon. Uh, we love y'all. 
Support the Tates guys. Free Top G. Free, top free G. Tristan. Free Tristan. Uh, hopefully by February 27th when they have their next hearing, they'll let them out. So yeah. we'll see what happens with this new evidence. All right. All right, guys. Later, guys. Peace. I run, I run so far away.